Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Welcome to Tumbes TV, a, a digital media uh, dedicated to spreading the beautiful message of Islam, where we also try to refresh and strengthen the iman of fellow Muslim brothers and sisters. Also, truth prevails, strive hard to call non-Muslim to this beautiful world of love and Islam. Also, we try to be the voice for the voiceless. Uh, this, is what, this is what we try to basically do on to prevail. Uh, so, you are welcome once again to our channel. Uh, on today's reminder, we quickly want to try to remind one another on the significance of the day of Ashura, as today is the 8th of Muharram, 1445 AH, which corresponds to the 26th of July, uh, 2023. So we want to quickly uh, look at why the day of Ashura is so significant in Islam. Rasulullah Sallam on reaching Medina, uh, when Rasulullah Sallam said to him Medina, he found out that the Jews they used to fast and immerse themselves spiritually on the day of Ashura. So Rasulullah tried to find out why they used to do this. And he, he got to know that it was because the day of Ashura, the day of Ashura was the day Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala liberated the children of Israel from the bondage of the Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Uh, so it was on the day of Ashura, the death of Muharram, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala freed the children of Israel from the tyrannical rule uh, of the house, one of the greatest dictators the world has ever seen. Also, the reason why this day is so significant, the day of Ashura, is that Rasulullah Sallam urged us to fast on this day and he told us that we should fast a day before the tenth of Maram, which is on the night of Maram, or a day after the tenth of Maram, the eleventh of Maram, so as to differentiate ours from that of the Jews, to differentiate our fasting, our fast from that of the Jews. So we should it is highly recommended that we should fast a day before Tomorrow, which is Thursday on the night of Maram and the tenth of Maram. Or we can simply do it this way. We fast the tenth of Maram, which comes up this Friday, the 28th of July, and follows it, and we follow it, we follow it with the 11th of Maram on Saturday. So to differentiate our whole fasting from that. Maram, the tenth of Maram is so significant because this, this month is one of the four sacred months in Islam. The month itself, Al-Muharram, is one of the four sacred months in Islam. We have four sacred months. They are Muharram, Rajab, Bilikad, and Bilija. So Muharram is one of the four sacred months in Islam. Therefore, we should become very close to Allah in this month. We should try to act righteously. We should act to act righteously. We should fast more in this month because Rasulullah Sallallahu also told us that if we fast on the tenth of Muharram, the, the the sins of the previous years will be wiped off. The sins of the previous year, the, the minor sins, they will be wiped off. So let's make dramatic effort. Let's prepare well for this. The last part of our make it easy for us. Uh, I will just mention before closing this video one significant tragic event that happened on the date of on the tenth of March was the martyrdom of uh, the grandson of Rasulullah, Imam Al Hussein. Al Hussein. He was martyred in Kabbalah on the tenth of Maram as well. It was a very tragic and very uh, bad episode in our history. Uh, but as Muslims, these things we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't, we don't commemorate. We don't, you know, uh, 
but we don't do any innovative acts on the 10th of November. Contrary to what some people they do, we should stay away from innovative practices on the 10th of Muharram. This is so important for us to note. We should not participate in any innovative acts. Uh, what happened was ugly, was bad, and um, we pray that all the martyrs in, in, in Islam, they are all with Allah. They are, they are all with their Lord. They are, they are forgiving and they are in the higher station in paradise. So don't let us bring an innovative act on the tent of Mara. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you and I to be able to fast. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, forgive all our mistakes, forgive all our shortcomings. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us witness many more of this month in our lifetime. Uh, until I come your way again with another video. Uh, so before I go, please, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe to our channel, Truth Movies TV. Uh, like, uh, like this video. Please share this video uh, with your friends, colleagues, and families alike. And as for Atala, continue to make it easy for us uh, to call people uh, to his way. And as for Atala, Make it easy for us to be a better Muslim and Muslima. The last one that is our faith. So, until I come your way again, uh, I pray your brother Idris the boy. I say, Assalamu alaikum. What happened to die? Tada, Wabraka too.